Whoever that second tiger is, make sure you got to reel up. Copy that. Alright, you're transmitting on 240. You need to go to 151. Hello and welcome to the Reapers. So we did a mission a couple of days ago. We had to go and bomb um, a small base where President Assad was staying. And we had some relatively light defences there, weak SAMs, or what we thought were weak SAMs. They're called Rolands. They're similar to Tunguskas. Uh, they're about five mile firing range. They use radar, and we thought they were radar guided only. As it turns out, they're actually uh, radar, and they can be optical guided, so they can turn their radars off. Because of this, we had an absolute nightmare killing them. Uh, we lost lots of men. You didn't, didn't see it in the theatrical video, but it took us about an hour to kill four of them. So today we're back to training. We've set up three bases. Let me go on the map. Um, we've got three bases. The first one I've highlighted here, uh, which has got several Roland sites with AAA. We've got to go in and practice our technique for killing them. Uh, then we've got one up here in the north, which is slightly harder, and then one down here in the south, which is even harder with Tunguskas. The reason we think they were so tough is that they can uh, they lock us with their uh, radar, but then when they have a sighting on us, they can turn their radar off, and they can track us visually with some sort of uh, optical guiding that we don't, no one seems to really understand. Uh, and that's the problem in killing them. So we're gonna, so we need to plan how we're gonna kill them. Uh, what do we think, guys? How are we gonna do this? Well, we're gonna distract. So them. presumably, yeah. So group, uh, group one, which is uh, Viggins and a few fast planes, are gonna go in and distract them, presumably, uh, get them to turn their radar on. At which point, as soon as we're in and over the site, we'll call the we'll call the uh, Harriers to to look at the site and check that they can get a radar lock. Does that sound fair? Copy. So what we're not going to do like is fly in like a bunch of noobs and just try and kill it with rockets and bombs and die and everyone gets shouty. So, now we've got the plan in place. Let's take off when ready. We can just take off one at a time and get in a right-hand or orbit until we're all up and then I'll call us onto target. Com check. 151 tone. But if I do that, then I'm on 25240. I get real loud. I think today we should be dagger flight. Okay, the uh, site is somewhere off to our left hand side, about at our uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, we'll keep flying in this direction anyway, so we can happen. beam it. Okay, Dagger, let's go and do our wild weasel. All I'm saying is you can ignore the four dash lines. They have nothing to do with your counter. Wings level. Right, uh, feel free to break off. We've got missiles out. Not for, for us. We're us. running in to deal with the rolling. Not for us. Missiles out, units. But we can see where the target is. Right, leads going. Uh, no, uh, no music on. Magnum. Yeah, copy. Tony is in the lead, C. Two tele targets request permission to engage. Mission granted. Missiles out. Missiles out. Not for you. Hey, I'm going to be your engage. Past, like, two inches from my face. Tell me, follow up. I've got my, uh, my music on, so I think that should be my counter is just working right now. Missile, 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 not for us. They won't help you because the missiles are electro-optically guided. It's a type of guidance weapon. system. It's a type of guidance system known as a sack loss or a semi It's like we've got three systems system down there. System which um, essentially guides it via a wire. Tally two, three launches. Lost a man, we've lost a man. Trees in hot two. rockets. Roger, uh, bug out to the right too. Missile, missile, missile out for you. Bug out, bug out, bug out, bug out. Flare, flare, flare. MIGs rolling in, we're going to do a strike on those. Uh, Three, did you see two? Did he go down? Yes, he went down. Roger. Leeds getting out of it. 
Cap is wild weaseling, following lead now. Trees off targets. Uh, we've got three smoke plumes down there, does that mean we've got some hits? Roger. Lead is circling back in three, are you able to watch my tail? Four circling back in, right and following lead. Missile, missile, missile. Missile, missile, missile. Blood, missile. Fuck. Missile, missile, missile. What was declaring missile, missile, missile? What do you mean by missile, missile, missile? You have to be specific. That means a missile launch coming out for you. That is very specific. It is indeed the correct brevity. Yeah, we have a get a gepard or whatever it's called. Have five There's a missile chance two too. missiles. All three vegans right, down. Tony, uh, do you know how to get the speed to display on the tad? Missile, missile, missile. Last vegan, dodge, dodge, dodge. Lady back on comms. DMS there. All three Vigans down. One next. It's been way too long setting that attack up. One, two, is that you to my right on the apron? Roger. Captain. A firm, I should say. I keep saying Roger when I should. Cap, I'm running in. I saw their missile launches. I'm going in with rockets. Cap, is that you hit as well? Roger, I confirm everyone's dead apart from Squiddle and Signore. Yeah, what happened there for me is uh, I thought I bound my uh, counter release, but apparently I didn't. Missile, missile, missile. So I was completely dead in the water. Uh, below that, it's a burning aircraft. It's wiped us out again. Even with countermeasures, it's, uh, it's tough. Because the countermeasures yeah, don't work. work. Yeah, if they shoot optical, they don't work. Group ID 01, own ID 02. Go in defensive. Trash, you back on comms, yeah. Trash, loud and clear on 128. Where's that missile? Here's a crazy idea. What about a 30,000 feet dive bomb? Squirtle with his RT to beat rearm and refill. 1, 2, you are right, it's crazy. Considering this is optimally guided awesome. and our jamming pods awesome. are useless, I'm going to swap to low drags. But everyone, well, Will H, so Coffee's got his RBO5s, I'll go for low drag and then trash it. What you to go for. Guys, let's uh, call this one off. It's wiped the entire squad out apart from two guys. That's RTB, replan, and we'll go out again with a new tactic. RTB. So, what were people's problems there? I mean, obviously. Five uh, small SAMs just wiped out our entire squad of 12 men again. So, what were people finding difficult about it? FMA cap, it's target fixation. Everybody's co too concerned with getting the kill rather than playing as a team. Every every single one of our aircraft was over or one, two, is cap close to, to the uh, left of us now. Nasty. The Harriers were at the wrong altitude. Stay quiet, the fast coffee. movers were buzzing the site. Which is fair enough, but they'd have been better circling. One, two, uh, is that cap to the left of us now? Stay quiet, coffee. I saw that was sort of standing off and circling. Uh, if there was someone else with the German, fair enough. But uh, when I died and went to the FTA map, that's where I was visual. You want to, you want your fast movers sort of mid-range, mid, mid, yeah, mid-altitude, sort of visible, but out five or six nautical miles from the target, which is their maximum range, forcing them to turn those radars on. You want the Harriers up 10, 14,000 feet, sitting back, so as soon as that radar comes on, they turn over the target, the lock goes on, you rifle off at high altitude at maximum range, the rifle, they let the missile travel in and you break straight off, you don't fly over your target. We had Harriers going in at 1,000, 2,000 feet at like less than one nautical mile. It's no wonder we were all getting fucking wasted. Roger, nice analysis there. So, um, what went wrong is everyone just went in like a twat, like the Grim Reavers always do, trying to get the kill and the glory, and everyone died. So, this time we're going to have fast movers, that's Dagger and Signori squad. We're not even going to carry weapons this time. We're just going to circle around the SAMs at five to six miles. 
forcing them to fire, but so that we are in a safe range. We will be at four to six thousand feet and staying over 400 knots. Um, if I see anyone other than the Harrier f firing a weapon, I will kick them out. Harriers will be doing the killing um, and they will be at Angels 10 and above, timing their runs to coincide with missile launches. Do you get that, Harriers? Copy. Copy. Right, everyone line up on the runway. Uh, it doesn't have to be a neat pack, just get on the runway and get ready to take off somewhere. I don't know if uh, radar police or group can carry ECM, but they should do just the aid without radar locking. Are you? Copy that. If you're a wild weasel, if you're in Dagger or the other wild weasel group, carry ECM if you can. Yeah. Your weapon is and 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 armor with woods. flares and ECM pods and nothing else. Roger. Ready, go! Question to all. Rotate. Question to all. How do we identify where to rotate to around? Rotate. Yeah. Because we won't see it until they fire. Okay, guys. Just to reiterate, um, Dagger and the other fast movers are going to be circling around the target at five miles, accepting missiles. All Harriers will ab be above Angels 10 and acquiring firing solutions. Make sure that's done by all Harriers, or I will get you. A uh, Harkol is Harkol in. Copy, Cap. You stay in F10 and let me know if anyone doesn't do their job. Roger that cap, breaking off and holding an orbit pattern. Blood, how are you gonna um how are you gonna find Sam's to know where to rotate around? Well firstly we do have a rough waypoint, but we've got ground radar. Okay. Cap moving at F echelon left. We're attacking the same uh, group of SAMs. Copy, we'll just pretend it's new. All flights, we're... Do they have infinite ammunition? Negative. All flights, we're attacking the same set of SAMs, just pretend it's a new set. Tally them, blood, uh, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Roger, for some reason can't get a, a fix on the ground radar. Oh well. They might all be dead, I don't know, but we'll just play along. I didn't get a fix when we went in last time, so... Three nails. Distance is about 10 kilometers. All units, dagger flight. We are at the SAMs now, preparing to circle the five mile standby. Right, spit off trash. I want you to break off to the right. I want you to stay within 15 kilometers of the SAMs, which are the black smokestacks to our left hand side. You're going to be our eyes at a distance. Uh, Three, coffee, you're going to be staying behind me while I do the wild weasel in close proximity. Two, moving to trail. Does any of Dagger have nails? Do I need to know if the radar's up or not. Three nails, five o'clock. Dagger, uh, radar's off. Two. Three, is your radar off? Three. All units... Right, have you still got the nails? Three F um, five o'clock to six o'clock. The direction is wrong. Roger that. Uh, negative. No, that is correct. Uh, the Vigan only has sort of lobes, so it's somewhere between about six o'clock and uh, eight o'clock, which is correct. All units, all units. We are highlighting the the targets are lit up now. Uh, please kill them with the uh, anti radiation missiles. Dagger flight is in position and ready for wild reasoning at the request of Harrier flight. Big fight's in position. Uh, speed is 650. Turn heading 50 for target. You're Two. drifting south. Yeah. Missile, missile, missile. Missile out, not for us. I saw that radar come on. Got run, go for the attack run. Ground call stun. Does anybody tally where that missile came from? Three blind. Uh, eight o'clock, eight o'clock. Two blind. Should be at about uh, nine o'clock now. Nine o'clock now. Is Boston comms? If he isn't on comms, get rid of him. He shouldn't be here if he's not on comms. Green call to right and engage. Jaden, turn left, heading zero, extend out 10 miles. 
and then do a 180 degree turn, fly back over target. Did everybody see where those missiles came from? You're good to have a kill. 3, 2, nails, 8 to 6 o'clock. All units, target, right, yeah, target is lit up. Shoot at it. We've got this on there, Cap Grinkle has launch. Uh, negative. But have we got tally on the, on the launcher? Negative, lost it, but it's uh, near Cap a small lake. Cap has tally. Alright, Grinkle, yeah, we've got on lake, the lake. Lake. see the small lake by the town to our uh, 10 o'clock. Correction, to our 9 o'clock. One time shack, two tally lake. Three. Breaking off Three. and reclimbing. Roger, uh, the SAM sites are j about uh, two kilometers to the. Say again, one times Roland shack. That's two kilometers bearing one five zero from that, that lake. Do you want da uh, Dagger to go in for a damage report, GCR? Cap, can you take your guys in? High burn over the target. Roger. Um, Dagger, GCI wants us to high uh, burn over the target and get a damage report. 270, maintain uh, the Trash, stay at standoff distance. We're going to be going in. 3320 to cover the fast move. Coffee goes stage 2 after burner and trail. Alright, we're going in. Left roll. The mixer are with you, Cap. We're heading in now, we have tally. Confirm. Grinkle, slow approach. We're uh, going to be over the target before the fast movers are. Yeah, in fact, do, do a one 360 degree turn right, and that'll keep you a nice spacing while they get over. But they've lost tally. Turns if you're free after that. Right blood left, blood left, you're gonna miss you're it, you're gonna miss it. To turn back over the target and no, I can see it. the fast movers. I'm just not going any closer. Understood. Uh, postman heading 9-0. No fired yet. I can see two smoking. Are those uh, craters? Cap saw something in the brown field, in the brown field going around. Cap, don't go around just yet. Don't turn, don't turn. Don't turn, you can find that in TGP. You want to be getting maximum speed when you're in there. That turn, you'll kill all your speed. Roger, uh, turning out. Cap, where's the brown field relative to the smoking tree line? Stand by, I just need to look at my compass. Can Jaden come right, Stand zero, nine, zero, turn exactly. break turn, right. turn back in now. Doesn't appear to be any SAMs, but there are triple A, about four sets of triple A. Uh, Stand by as I look at my compass. One, you had a big in pass over, you one floor out for Captain, there's no active SAMs, it'd be advised sending the Harriers back to the field. Negative, we're so running in now for another visual. Roger, all units, this on site is now dead. We are going to RTB for the guys that need it and move one, on to I've north target. Idea. We'll get down and we'll debrief and then we'll go out for the northern site. One. Hey, firm, uh, blood knock downwind to land, runway 15. Kill Jaden, you'll be number three. Uh, watch for the two figures on your left. Trash extended downwind. Tower, cap Roger on the downwind for runway 1512. Cap, be advised you have traffic left of you, level. Uh, do you want to fall in behind him? Copy, he's slowing down. Tower, uh, cap now turning on final runway 12, full stop gear down. Two, touchdown running on. Do you know what? A lot of respect to you guys that do this tower shit because this is fucking mind boggling. Hmm, <laughs> it's good. <laughs> okay, Grinkle, you've just cut across aircraft, uh, wave off. Copy. Up. Remember everyone, it's runway 15 left hand circuit, which means all of the turns are left hand. All units crosswind right to left. Tower, dagger 1 and dagger 2, runway vacated. Copy. I'm sorry, Vigan. But the MiG's got to land fast. Kill Jaden, can you go around? Uh, got fast movers catching up with you faster than they anticipated. Trash going around. Is uh, the Squirtle have clearance to land? Uh, Squirtle, you've got a Vigan in front of you. Uh, you're fast approaching him, Signore. You should have visual on him 12 o'clock. Let's see, what did you do? Kill Jaden, watch your airspeed. You're catching up with trash. Sort it down. You're clear all the way in, kill Jaden, follow him down, and that should be airspace clear cap. Okay, um, DCI, uh, debrief can begin, we've got down now, debrief can begin.
can begin? What do we do good? What do we do bad? Um, watching from the map, much better control of airspace. Everybody was actually adhering to distances one or two, still keen to kind of get over the target area, which is understandable. As I say, one of my flaws is target fixation. I'm guilty of that. Um, I think it was made much harder by the fact that a player suddenly came on and started turning on and off the radar ran randomly. But overall, felt that went much better. And when we shot down, we cleared the target area. It'd be interesting to see if we could repeat that, unless Blood wants to put forward a different tactic. Uh, Advise, no, I think we should give that one more go, Advise, and uh, then we can try some funny things. Yeah, try on this target, we'll try to do it properly, and then we can try um, new things on the third target. Well, one thing that I thought was nice was the A-10s were able to give a good picture. Um, might be worth putting the A-10s up high, sort of 8 nautical mile orbit at the target site, uh, reporting, because it's better... If we can pull this off that we don't have a, a guy just watching the map and calling it, and we get used to doing it visually and from the radio checks, it would be quite nice. And I entered a corner, but it didn't okay. for a moment. Right, okay, so we'll try again. So it's six digits, four, three. Three, okay, seven. Okay, I'll have There are now two human Five, pilots two. in the uh, red four. Uh, they are ground ground now, zeros. Yes, it is. Noted. Okay, north, four, four. Tower dagger flight wheels up, departing to the east. Cap, you are clear to buzz the target. Clear to buzz the target. Harriers are in tail. Roger, Sabre and Dagger, follow me for, uh, we're going in for the Wild Weasel. Jane maintain heading, Raptor break right, zero 090, zero, green and turn left, zero zero. Cap, uh, Nails, Roland, they're, uh, they're beaming. How far away am I, uh, Harriers? Hostile radars are on, Roger, hostile radars are on. We, uh, we have the wrong waypoint entered into our nav system, uh, heading north now. Harriers, hostile radars are on, take the shot. Cap, you've got Raptor providing CDs flying straight above you now, he should have sight. Green call, turn now, yeah. cover. Scenario's locked Missile, up. missile, missile! Cap's getting out. Missile, missile, missile! Jaden, come right at zero. Come right, zero nine zero. Let's get some side arms in there, guys. Tracking him. Squirrel's got missiles. I just got. Okay, Splash. guys, we've gone up the pull. Harriers, pull back. A ten, give me a picture down there. Oh, the missile there. Missile there. Alright, all aircraft, maintain at least 7 nautical miles from target. Repeat, re maintain at least 7 nautical miles from target until the A-10s give us a picture. So now our shortest route out is heading 270. Roger. Green call, uh, heading 180. Do you need a base vector or you just need an escape route? So now are passing the 7 nautical mile range now. Uh, Slicely, you are Roger, entering target right orbit. Hostile radars appear to be off again. Roger, stand by for a tank. Just negative. I've got radar spike. Negative. I've got a rolling spike. Missile okay, out. Okay, kill two missiles out. 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 Go down, turn left, five, uh, zero, five, zero. Fire on that Raptor. Requires tally on the sound site, may make a run. Green call, yeah, Raptor, turn right, right heading zero. Roger that. All right, Harriers, I have a laser on the right Missile, here. missile, missile. Missile, missile, missile. Southern Roland. If you do a laser spot search for one, 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 you'll see him. Missile launch, missile launch. Two more missiles. Another missile launch. Trash and coffee break. Greenfield breaking off. Coffee, come left, 180, extend. Blood, 090, extend. Figgins are way too close there. The yeah, is getting loud. Greenfield, turn right, zero. Shack one. Shack one, turn right, Greenfield, turn right, 
Houston and take off on the air. Secure Houston, good good radius. radius destination. Am I clear to go this ten? There's a missile launch. Tally missing. Green floor, or somebody else. Evade, evade. Da, da. Roland Spike. Grinkle, can you lock that up? Oh shit. Awesome. It's a missile. Good dodge. Cap looks dodged. Fuck, that was close. There's so many missiles out that they shot. Yeah, they're trying. Shimmy, can you confirm your armament? Missile, missile, miss missile, missile. So that one's coming from me. Go on low. My armament is Mark 82 airs and rockets. <laughs> okay, Godzilla, turn in 010 for high altitude cluster bombing. 010, copy that. engine just died. Restarting the engine. Oh, oh, no, it's a missile, 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 missile,
ready. Go. So we're going to be staying on stage during afterburner. We're just going to keep climbing after this. After taking off. Two. And Viggins, gear up. Uh, Cap, can you give uh, an uh, right. on the tape, please? Say again, uh, Harry Lee. Right, in order to uh, get a maximum probability of hitting the target, what we're going to do is we're going to fly over it to ensure it can't hit us at this altitude, and then we're going to spread out into the uh, and simultaneously uh, drop our bombs and then did you wait out. for a CDE? The then at a, uh, after a specified time we're going to turn around, head back into the target, and nuke the place. So we should be passing over it right about now. Let's just keep an eye out the window just to see if there's any missile launches. I doubt it. We're about eight kilometers up. Okay, drop tanks, people. Okay, turn on to your assigned vectors now. Two. Three. So, coffee for the um, precision dive, you want to dive on the target, put the, the dot over the target, and then you should get the arming line. Uh, when that starts flashing, release your bombs and have a, a gentle pull up to make sure your bombs spread a bit. Roger. And keep the trigger hold until you uh, see the cloud last light appear. Roger. Okay, that's about 25 kilometers away. I want everybody to turn right onto the target. Well, Two. I just uh, whacked out. Yeah, you've disconnected. Yeah, I fell out of that formation. Keep your space draft a better, or you're going to really uh, need the speed up here. Obviously. Right, so remember they are to the southeast of the lake. To where we need somebody to... Cap, I want you to fly in and uh, get them to draw a missile out. Do you want me ahead of you? Yeah, ahead of you, full burner. Off I go. Uh, uh, Viggins, do not dive yet, keep your altitude. The lake is now behind a cloud, but I think I remember where it was. Okay, everybody turn back onto your previous vectors, so that's, I think, 120 for, my, one, one, zero for myself, uh, zero, zero, zero for trash, and coffee, I forget what yours is. Cap. Turn back out. Three from miles target. from target. Roger, nails. Coffee and trash, you're turning back out. Missile, 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 come. Trash, visual on the side. Roger, turn back in. Full power, hit the strike. Make sure you do not go supersonic till you are bombs away. Keep your altitude until the last moment. This is going to be a steep dive. Cap survived. Good stuff, Cap. Three off target. Missile, 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 two missiles. Splash! I was hoping to release bombs way higher than that, but the you don't get the arming line until pretty late on. All units, uh, cap the Vigans flight we failed. How's the Harry mm. doing? Right, uh, option number two, low altitude as the Vigans should be doing high drag bomb. How about? Go ahead. So how, was, uh, how about? Side on I go in. Now I'm coming in for uh, in an for unarmed tiger. Rooms. Apart from uh, smoke rocket, smoke the site visually. And then you guys got something to go for on the low path. Yeah, Tony has laser and speed yep, on target. target. To be honest, Vigan should not be dive bombing from high altitude without cover. No, it shouldn't way. be. No, the, di the precision bombing mode is excellent, just uh, not again. 
really good quality tams. But yeah, okay. Uh, Cap, could you do us a favour? Awesome. Missile just flew right by. Uh, could you I put stopped. your mouse over the target and read out the uh, the same so. Can you get one of the boys to do it? I'm just getting some film from the other. Fuck it, anyone monitoring F10? Can we get vectors uh, here? Uh, trash. Can you do? Okay then. Yeah, the other thing we're going to do is. Uh, we're going to come from a different angle. Cap, I'm going to be honest with how I think yeah, yeah. these missile yeah. groups are yeah. of SAMs. You'd need two something to copy. fast, like a Mirage 2000. Project two, 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 I, this. I want you to enter okay. 17510. Even Vigans are struggling. 17510. 3... Can I engage the SAMs with the MiG-21? 3, 3, 1, 1, 2. Try it, yeah. Okay, okay. And I will be entering 0931. Okay, so we've now all got mark points set up. These are surrounding the target. We're all going to go to our mark points. Yeah, Huckle's down. And only when we're all there and ready are we going to run in. Now, because they're slightly spaced apart, in theory, we should arrive at different times, and therefore we won't kill each other. So just an update to the viewers, uh, the guys, the Harriers are still struggling on the northern side. The, uh, also that the, the, um, the, video, so. uh, the dagger flight, that's the Vigans, we've got a new idea, we're going to go in. Cap's going to lay smoke down um, on our target and then the Vigans are going to come in I'll low and fast from different angles. Because you're going to need to go to the target, uh, get there before us. Roger, Cap taking off. Right, I'm like 30 feet. Can't pick me up here. This is Harkel. Northern Sight still has two active radar the sound sites. Right, two active radar sound sites on the northern side. Nine o'clock. Missiles out. They saw me. I'm out. I'm out. Getting out. Getting out. Don't go in yet, Cap. We don't need you yet. Damn, I got a shot. It's and impossible, guys. Simple. You can't get in there. Right. Coffee. Attack now. Spacing is good. Proceed to target. Missile. 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 Launch friendly dead. Trash down. Keep on it. Nine kilometers. Huckle standing out west, he's going to target. Five, Sam launches, two, on you. On me, on me, on me, diverting. One evaded, one hit. Engine dead, dropping bombs. Two, weapons release. Bombs away. Someone give me from the smokestacks some rough ideas. Yeah, that yeah, fuck it. Roll them so I can pick it up. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna grab it. Field to land it. And rift. All right. So in terms of landmarks, sitting between. Oh, I'm gonna trip a lot. It's not what I want. I've already found it. Dead guy. He is um, Just give up. outside of the farm. I think I've got the gear down though. You can see the point where the coffee mill is cut off. Lost controls. Green Bang. texture. Look near to the smokestack that's sitting on the green texture. North side of the line. Roger that. Is he on the other line or opposite? He is off of it to the north. Roland. Northern site, there are two Rolands. Copy, you'll need to update. Uh, go 11023. The laser codes do work. They're not that difficult. Missile out, north side. Missile, missile, missile. Is it going high? Missile defeated? Missile defeated. Three ETA. Yeah. Second missile out. Shack rolling and one left away. We should on you about eight miles out. It's me. Oh shit. Roger, proceed to IP point. Uh, give us a running countdown to when you're there and then we're missile running defeated. in. Third missile, Three third missile. missile. Three, three zero clicks to go. Defeated. One minute. He certainly has got a missile and launched at me. Two zero seconds.
Sherman. Track one. Right then. Sorry guys, there is one more rolling left. I didn't see it. What the hell do you do against these things? The only thing that's killing them in the north is long range Maverick from an A10. Nothing else can kill them. Stand off, you can't get close to him. I think that's the conclusion we can draw here. It's something we probably could have guessed before, but hey. Well, lead and two, you got over the target, your bombs were short, you were caught in the escape. Yeah, no, I think I actually hit them. The thing is, you I'll can't... Attack you, afterwards, but you can't even get on the bomb run. As I found out, I was 30 feet of Mach 1, and it still tracked and killed me on the, on the run-in. Yeah, I was at treetop level. And they, yeah, they fired on me. Very late, initially, but it's only because they were looking at trash, initially. Yeah, I got it head on in the face. Uh, Cap, it may have, I mean, there were lots of them together which didn't help. For example, I evaded the first missile, it's only the second that got me. Roger, so this is an exaggeration, but it's still a proof of concept though that they can pretty much hit yeah, you anywhere. That, yeah, that we probably can do this, it's just exceedingly unreliable. I mean, we might manage it if we popped up behind something, if there was a hill nearby. Uh, cool. Rifle. Uh, because it's yeah. such low ground, they can already track us way beyond uh, yeah, their effective range. Roger, we've but got uh, a rifle going in to kill the last northern target. Missile and that's not done. Missile. Well, I think I'm done for today. Same. Yeah. I, I imagine <sighs> it's not even that hard to kill them if we can use the weapons at our disposal. The BK 90s are designed be for this shit. kind of shit. Oh, yeah, BK 90s is really easy. Cap. Believe northern site now clear. We're Roger, we're heading into Discord for a debriefing. It can be done, but not in this environment. If they're out mm. in the open, absolute flat terrain, they have all the visibility that they need and the range to get us. Roger, everything. I mean, we put them in a canyon last time. They're still there, impossible. They, by the time anything got a lock on them, they have Sam's after you. This a canyon's impossible. worse. Because it's basically like flat terrain, except the aircraft is limited by two So, the fish main fish problem fish here... Fish. Oh. Yeah. The main problem here is we're using a very basic anti-radiation SAM against a sack loss guidance system. Does the yeah. ECM actually jam it at all? Or? No. No, no, it no all, it's, a search, it's a search radar, it's just literally to look for you. Once it knows where you are, a guy will look for a scope, and he'll just point at you, and the missile will track wherever he's pointing. Yeah, so the way sack loss yeah, works. Mark one eyeball. Nothing you can do about it. <sighs> well, well, it's worse than mark one eyeballs. It's essentially a sack loss. So imagine a TGP, except it's targeting an anti-aircraft system. Can I just say though that that last session, then, particularly that last bit, me and Sherman, no problems. We had one guy spotting and calling me in, and literally, I mean, Sherman had Mavericks as well, and you know he did more than just spot. But that that combination, the A10 and the Harrier, there with Mavericks and sidearms, was very effective. Roger. So what were you doing? Just sitting on the five mile perimeter and just. I was out. actually out anywhere between fourteen and ten miles with the sidearms. I then closed to ten to eight miles with the Mavericks, mm. and basically Sherman just called the the target locations. I tracked in on the Harrier and rifled, and, and I was up at twenty thousand feet. Right. So to say, so we can say. Um, although, as Blood said, this is an extreme case, obviously, because I put loads of them together. But really, the only safe way of killing these guys, because we try bombing at low level, Mac One, and they'll just they'll they'll shoot you before you get in. It, it's it's really okay. No, it's, it's yeah. definitely a standoff scenario. Yeah. The, the, Mavericks, the Mavericks were the the real way forward. The sidearms were effective for when when the radars came on to search for us because we were far out. They were having to use the radar to search for us. And also, there wasn't a player turning them on and off rapidly, you know, just pinging, looking, and yeah. then doing memory tracks. Yeah. So it was easier with the sidearms this time around, but Mavericks were definitely the way forward. Right, yeah, so you, to you be need fair. standoff weapons that aren't based well, off, yeah, you know, tracking but, but, to their radar. But there's something more to learn here, though, because we were using standoff. Uh, we were using standoff weapons before with the uh, with the sidearms before, but people were still yeah, charging so they need, in. They, need to, they, were they charged, need to not. Yeah, they were charging in point blank and getting shot. So what we were doing there was firing at te eight and ten miles and then turning around before we got shot. That that's uh, the target. first and biggest problem is target acquisition. So if people don't know where the SAMs are, they're going to get hit by them. Uh, and everybody needs to work out where that is because, for example, although the Vigans Grand Raid didn't work this time, we might know where it is, but for example, someone at F5 or another aircraft won't know. Yeah. So we need totally. to disseminate that information. Yeah, and we need a good way of doing that. I mean, the Harrier can cheat because once you get that arrow symbol, 
and especially if you've got a side arm, it pretty much puts a big bullseye on it. And the trick is, you, you nose down to let the release off, and you also stick a marker on it with your uh, sensor marker on there, mm-hmm. and you've got a permanent point of interest, like presumably like a Viggen has, and you just keep that range above six miles. Now, what I did notice was they were firing above six nautical miles. Yeah, when you, when you were high, especially. Yeah. Is there is there is there like a ceiling um, to them? Like, could we use the A10 as a fac at high altitude? And I, I can confirm. I can confirm that at I think six or seven kilometers, the Viggins were going over the top. They can hit us. So well, high kilometers, is yeah, the other. obviously. Yeah. That's right. So there's the about twenty-five thousand, thirty thousand feet. Mm-hmm. I, so, I, yeah, I got to be honest. In that scenario, A10 JTAC with a couple of Maverick Rifling Harriers or Maverick Rifling A-10s uh, and uh, the way forward, because you can do that laser search. The Viggen, yeah, it can carry yeah, the Maverick, but it to eyeball it. Mm-hmm. Oh, Joe. So I, I don't want to sound like a condescending prick, but when you're attacking SAMs with weapons with shorter range, that's a suicide mission, and you shouldn't really expect anything else unless you've got the terrain for it, which we didn't have in this. Mm. Welcome to the Vietnam. Thanks, you're right. I was going to say, if we change this... Any more effective SAMs, uh, seed missiles, than we right. do. We have aircraft that are completely capable of taking these things out. Like we said, a tens, Mavericks, easy shit. You just need to find it first. Same I, thing with the Harriers. Get a JTAC in there, find it with your DMT, through your Maverick, shoot, easy as shit. Vigin, so, EK-90, easy as shit. But yeah. if we ban all the weapons against Sams, it's not a surprise that we die. What we've got to remember, though, as well, is that like, this scenario is t- totally different to the Valley scenario. I reckon if we if we fired up that Valley scenario now and, and actually sat down and said, right, guys, we've got known sites high, so we can't go high. We're going to force our ways down this valley. We know we've got three mobile radar sites down the valley. It would be Are a we different talking about fish. the Red Helicopter mission? Uh, negative. Uh, so we ran down a valley... Um, with had which had, was str- was strung along the bottom of the valley with Rolands, um, and uh, there was S three hundred sites covering above the valley, so you couldn't go out of the valley, and we had to kill the Rolands as uh, as we went along the valley. But they kept turning their radars off and and just shot us all down, and that's what spurred on today's mission. The question is, will an A ten or a BK ninety help in that case? No, because you because the valley is wiggling. Um, uh, but you, you use you use that to your advantage, so you change tactic. That last SAM was the pain in the ass SAM because you had less than a mile from when you made the right turn. But intentionally or not, whoever placed that last SAM, mobile SAM site, it was behind a small hill in the valley, and you could actually make the right turn and be broken line of sight oh, and literally it. pop up over the the product. It wouldn't get a lock tack on you fast enough. You could rock it down on it or bomb it and be off the other side and into the other side of the valley and rifling round. Sorry turning around the valley before it's actually worked out what the foot's just landed on its head. Yeah. Also, if you're in the terrain, you can skim the top. If you fire on, you just drop to the other side, you're safe. Roger. Yeah, you could probably just about get away with it. And yeah. It would be interesting to run that valley run again. Take, keep the yeah. S300s on, but not make them the target. And just see, you know, just send a, a two-ship or three-ship flight down that valley and see how far they get with better practice and better understanding of what they're fighting against. Oh, and I run the next time. Get all three ships down. Oh, all right, gents. I have to call it Merry Christmas. See you hopefully next week around. All right, Charles. Take care. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I spotted in my Later. last mission, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At least for Christmas. All right. Yeah, I'm leaving tomorrow. Christmas have you guys really? thought about maybe staggering your flights out a little bit better, too? Um, yeah, spacing is a big thing. Yeah, no massive... Plus the fuck takeoffs. We've thought of it, but no one ever does that. Well, and, and you, can do, you can do a mass formation takeoff, but then you just roll into the target. Um, I, like I think uh, the fast movers do. You, you guys roll in by the numbers. Um, you do that same thing for your your IP to attack. Oh, dear. One of the things actually that happened to the slightly embarrassingly is. Um, Two wingmen flew into each other and took them out before we even got to the target area. So yeah, that happened to me. I was flying three formation and someone ran up the back of me. Yeah, copy that. That was my bad. Uh, look, guys, I'm not picking forward, but I'm just suggesting it's all very nice to play hard and, and train against the nice kill missions. But maybe we should start with the basics and you know formation flying and basic yeah. flight protocol. Yeah, learning how to fence in before target, then rolling into target, rolling out to target, reforming up, and then going to a standby position to roll in again. 
Well, the, the issues we've had before now is that we've had quite a high turnover of people. Uh, but that's started to settle down now, so we can focus on doing all that basic training. In. The other thing, Blood, as well, is, is a case of what sort of a squadron do you want to be? Do you want to be the serious guys that know how to have a bit of fun? Or do you want to just be the guys that just get together and just blast it through until they succeed? I, the, the first one. I kind of like the division, because Red 4 is now the serious guy, and the Blue 4 seems like the... Uh get together and shoot everything well you see we do this every day and mm. the whole purpose of the shift to more restrictions but have the weekend open to anybody so we can have the you know the ridiculous clusterfuck fun missions of the weekend but then we can do the more serious get really good missions during the week do that That's uh, because, you know, we're doing this every day and we will lose good people if we don't try and improve if we don't try and you know get better because it's i mean doing the big clusterfuck is fun for a while but if you're doing this every day you at least want to get something out of it what about the guys like me i'm new um and i want to take it seriously and i want to join you guys on the missions i'm not going to get better if you guys are closing it down to everyone you know uh well all right so we're not just gonna... we're not going nobody can join uh, we're simply trying to restrict who we can join to people who are actually keen and committed. Because we've had a few people who've kind of gone, yeah, I'll fly for a couple of missions. And when you have people who are new, don't understand how we do things and, you know, how to fly in a mission, uh, it can really screw missions up and make it worse for everyone. So it's it's definitely not cut off to new people. Maybe That's at sure. the weekend's blood, what we need to look at doing is doing, like, a night where it's training, training night. Like, new members. Yeah, we need to do like check right, and then, and then a I think Sunday or something. I think one of the good compromises for this is uh, we have armor days, and those are during the week when the rookies can't join. Instead of armor, the rest of the guys can hold a training session. That's yeah, good. good. That's why yeah, we got yeah, doing yeah, guys that are specialists in the different airframes. Like Harrier guys need to get with a Harrier IP or Harrier so, training. So, you know. so the way that um, if we're doing it, we have a, an application form together, it's very simple, it's just literally how much experience of DCS do you have or what aircraft you fly. Um, and I want to get people paired up, so we have, for example, the experienced people who, you know, are really good with particular aircraft, we pair them up so that new people joining, if they fly the Vigan all the time, they might come with myself, or the Mirage might go recall or whoever. So that then they have somebody they can always talk to. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea, that's a fantastic idea. And kind of like hopefully a they, thing. yeah, 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 it's, it's yeah, like a, and hopefully then they'll always be in that person's flight at least for the first you know few weeks of missions, so that they you know there's somebody that they can always talk to, they're familiar with, they fly the same aircraft, and they can just show them the ropes. And when they get a bit more experience, they can start to chop and change between different flights. As well, Cap, don't don't go away disheartened from all this. It, it's it's a fantastic group that you run here, and, and it's a real pleasure to be allowed to fly with you guys. You know, all the nitpicking yeah. aside, it, it's I want to get the most out of what you guys offer. Roger, it's all right. I'm used to it. I've been doing it for two years. <laughs> yeah, tr <laughs> my, tr trust me, Harkol. We are just yeah, we're like the Blue Angels compared to what this used to be. Yeah, Roger. yeah. I think they've gotten much much better even when I started a few months ago. It's just, yeah. it's always hard to hear negative things about something you love. I play uh, yeah, yeah, negative, but, but, negative yeah. things are good. There's no such uh, thing as failure, only an opportunity to learn. Yeah. yeah, and I think that one of my favorite sayings is true in this one as well, and it is that people are most critical about the things they love. Indeed. Are we allowed to join you guys in the armor stuff? I used to run an armor group. Yeah, um, yeah armor, armor, armor is... I've armor, I've I've left over that to Fawful so he can... Uh, Armour is less serious, basically. It's starting to get a little bit more serious. Now we're starting to get tactics, but it's still at the point where it's open to anyone, so anyone's allowed to join. You have to have some mods and stuff, but I'll speak to Wolf about yeah. that. I remember yeah, so that. I have, to I have training manuals and stuff if you guys want to take from them. I, I okay. don't use them anymore. Cool. All right, we'll see you tomorrow, then. All right, then. Wicked. All right, I'll see you later, chaps. Take Take easy, bud. All right, there we go.